Welcome to Genesis Alpha 1. Let's watch all of Tom's videos. This is Major Thomas Phelps speaking. Can you hear me well? How's the transmission getting through? This is a glorious day for mankind and the greatest honor for an astronaut. I trained all my life for this moment. May God, may science be with us to make this endeavor a success. May this day be remembered as a turning point for humanity. May Alpha One welcome this ship and his crew with open arms. Serious trajectory deviations can't deactivate hyperdrive. I'm not sure what I'm seeing. I'm hearing. What, what is that? Can you still read me? Genesis Command. Can you still read me? This is Phelps. I hope Command is reading this. This was quite a bumpy trip. I don't know where we ended up exactly, and navigation is displaying weird numbers. Nevertheless, crew and captain are okay and ready to make history. But this must be it. This must be Alpha-1, the promised land. Hopefully close to the program jump coordinates. Hmm. Local scans are working and we are reading a planet, almost Earth-like and close to a sun nearby. But the atmosphere is a problem. Almost no oxygen, several unknown components as well. We cannot settle there, not with this crew. We have to explore the cluster and look for another candidate. But we made it to Alpha, and this will become our new home. Phelps out. This is Major Phelps speaking. Something is on the ship. The crew reported irritating noises from the service tunnels yesterday. I was sending a team down. We found and killed some kind of bug. It looked harmless. But today we found two crew members dead in the library and dozens of egg-like cocoons nearby. We investigated further. We found the library's service tunnels infested with at least 50 of these eggs. Seems these creeps can spread quite quickly. I don't like that. I also play some sentry guns. My new best friends guard the area. Major Phelps out. This is Major Phelps. We found a planet that looks promising for settlement. The atmosphere is kind of, well, suitable. We still have to wear our helmets, though. Some genetic changes to our clones could tone down this problem. We're working on that. The place is also rich in resources and kind of beautiful, too. Kind of. Phelps out. Phelps here. Damn, what's going on here? Uh, the greenhouse New crew... materials have been refined. I don't know what happened. They have changed somehow. Stopped working. Behaved aggressive. Today, they attacked me. God, I... I had to kill them. We're still investigating the situation. I suspect some kind of parasite that could have entered the ship when we harvested resources, infected them. Those poor guys. We will research their remains, and also replace them with new clones as soon as possible. Phelps out. This is Phelps, Stardate 2035-34-35. I need help! This is pretty urgent. I got some weird creature on my ship, I mean, seriously weird! It emerged from the ship's engine, made some freaking noise, and vanished! I can't find it with my motion tracker, it appears again and it vanishes randomly each time, doing damage to my computers! It's all full of a blue light! Can't hurt it with my guns at all! I seriously need help with this shit! Major Phelps out!
Phelps transmitting. We found another interesting planet. Based on its components, the atmosphere seems breathable for humans. But we have too much smoke in the air to actually try. It's also pretty warm here. My boots are melting away as I transmit this. Resources are also rather sparse. But for a competent and ambitious crew, this could be what we're looking for. Major Phelps out. Phelps here. We have harsh conditions down here. But I must say, this is a promising planet again. The atmosphere is totally breathable. Temperatures are, unfortunately, rather low at minus 45. But we also see varied vegetation. Even some animals. And two suns shining down at us. But they seem to produce only light, no real heat though. For now, we will move on. Phelps out. This is Major Thomas Phelps speaking, and this is an emergency call. If anyone intercepts this transmission, please heed my warning. My ship, the USS Homeland, was attacked by a group of very hostile humanoids. They call themselves Mechanics. Their leader was Vadim Kasparov, the Genesis commander who was considered dead after his unfortunate hyperdrive incident back in 2025. Heavily armed troops managed to enter my ship by using some sort of beaming technology. They damaged our hyperdrive and shields with the first wave, and we could not leave their territory. We were able to hold them back for some days and killed a lot of the armored bastards. We even collected and researched some of their weapons, which gave us some momentary advantage. But the attacks just didn't stop. They just kept coming. Now we are totally defeated. I made it to the last functional harvester before the ship blew up. I will leave the homeland immediately. All of my crew are dead. The plants are destroyed and my movements are lost. The best thing I can do now is to send this war. Stay away from the mechanics territory. I attach my coordinates with this transmission. God bless us. Thumbs up. Major Phelps transmitting. Start date 2034-23. This transmission goes out to all Genesis commanders in Alpha 1. I somehow managed to escape these mechanical bastards, and I think that I'm still somewhere in the quadrant. I've been drifting through empty space for several days now. I'm also running short of oxygen and supplies. Calling this a holy freaking mess would be a rather positive review of the situation here. Well, my problems are probably not very interesting to you, but please listen to me. I'm reading a huge shipwreck on my sensors, partially devastated. There's a chance these mechanical maniacs paid them a visit, too. I can sure use some of their supplies, but it is impossible to dock with this junk pile of a harvest that I'm proud to command. This huge ship was sponsored by Biotech Corporation Superior Genetics. Based on my readings, it features very advanced cloning technology. If you have any use for this, Phelps out. Stargate 203428. This is Major Phelps again. Unfortunately, my ship got caught in the gravitational pull of a rather small planet. I flew by to take a closer look, and this planet looks like it consists of pure gold. And while considering its gravitation, it possibly does. Curiosity kills the cat, though. The planet's pull is now sucking me into its orbit. I cannot navigate the ship anymore. Landing could be an option, but the gravity on the surface might be impossible to survive. I'm struggling to distribute all my system power to the anti-grav of this freaking harvester. I should have read the digital manual of this junk pile when I had the time. Anyway, I'm transmitting SOS and ship location now. Phelps out.
by the artist's topic of choice. It can't be censored or accused of anything. It only reveals the very true nature of the one who is watching, listening, or playing. What would be missing in a world, in a universe, without art? Should we bring our culture to this place? What can we offer to this world? All this darkness surrounding us reveals a certain power, a rare blessing, something only humans are capable of. Our jewel, our argument to advocate humanity. What about the cow? 
coward, one who follows orders, one who has good intentions? Is this one just an accomplice, worthless in the shining light of sacrifice and true courage? Is there something wrong with having fears, with pissing one's pants? Yes, yes, there is. Popular culture, everything sounds alike, looks alike, feels alike, is alike. A dictatorship of slick banality and endless sequels, infantile flicks luring tons of diapered grown-ups into their temples. Diversity, media responsibility, creativity, all erased. Are we what we consume? We too ashamed of feeling ashamed. Why do they treat us like kids? Do they lose their skill, their ideas? Is there some hidden agenda, some sinister plan? Kids are afraid. Kids are easy to entertain and most important, kids have to follow orders. Follow orders. Found this planet inhabited by a beautiful species. Offered friendship, food, saved my life. They live peacefully, solidarity. They worship nature. If there is a paradise, I found it, and I submit. What would happen if we come here? There's not too much we can give them. Not enough. Not yet. I've made my decision, and my journey has just begun. This does leave some questions unanswered. I think there's a DLC coming. Make sure to subscribe and watch my other Genesis Alpha 1 videos. Ciao.